Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I'm down here in the bee yard going across a little section that has packaged bees installed. And I wanted to explain to everyone about the importance not to get in a rush and start going through your, your packaged bees sooner than necessary. This uh, seems to be a lot of problem with uh, new beekeepers. Is they'll install their package of bees, and next thing you know, they're tearing the frames out, going through them frame by frame, looking, seeing what, what's going on. The only thing you need to do is when you install your bees, you, you have your queen, preferably in, in the middle frames, after three days, or even four, Go back in there, check, make sure she's released. If she's not, manually release her from the, the cork end that doesn't have the candy and be careful and get her back down in the hive and let her loose. But most of the time she's already released. So you normally, the only thing that you'll have to do is reach down, pull that cage out, get it out of there because if you don't, those bees will build right around that cage go and close that cage and it just kind of leads into a mess and gets in the way. Uh, besides that, I don't recommend going into that hive unless you find some bad, bad issues going on, which normally this time of year you don't. We're in late April. You're at the absolute peak of the honey flow. Everything's going good for these bees. It's hard to kill these bees this time of year. Uh, I recommend at least, at least a month, at least four, well, a full month before it going back in and doing the inspection in this hive. You gotta give that queen three days to get released. She's gonna start laying a pattern of eggs. That's not gonna be very big. At first, the reason being is because she's been in a cage and you slow down her progress, she's gonna to have to throttle up slowly with her production. That's just how it is. They, uh, they'll they start off with a very slow pattern. If you look after five days, you may see a handful of eggs. And then a lot of people will say, well, she's not doing good, I need to requeen her because she's not laying any eggs. Don't go into that hive after you remove that cage for a month, at least a month. And then, by then, your first eggs that she's laid should be hatching. Now remember, when you install a three pound package of bees, by day 20, your three pound package is more than likely going to be a two pound package because a lot of those bees are already dying from their life cycle because there's nothing regenerating inside that colony to replace the ones that are dying. So after a month, it will turn around and it'll start building back up. You might be six weeks uh, before you actually get back to a three pound package. So remember that, and a lot of people don't think about that when, when they're wanting to hurry up and rush and go through their colony. There's no rush. Don't get in a hurry because you're gonna get discouraged because you're gonna see less bees. You're gonna get discouraged because you're seeing your queen's not hardly laying much. It's because she hasn't learned the process over again. So get, the only thing you need to do is check your feed feed them your hive top feeder this one's probably dirty which it is a little bit dirty and it's cleaned out these hold two quarts here's exactly what i do i fill it up once let them run it down i fill it up again and if we're in uh, anywhere near april I might fill it up a third time, but more than likely I'm not going to because these bees tend to like to store a lot of that. 
sugar water into honey, which is not what you want a lot of at first. A little bit is fine. You want those bees to be building worker cells. You want, you want them to make worker cells so your queen will have a place to lay. You're looking for population growth. At this time of year, you don't, you're not looking for honey production. You're looking for population growth. So focus on that first two months. You install your bees the first of April. By the first of June, your population should be built up and going strong. And then by then, you can, if you install it into a, a five frame nuke, you can see about expanding it into an eight frame or 10 frame or split it or whatever you want to do at that point. So just a little shout out uh, new beekeepers and uh, and stolen packages. Uh, talk to a lot of people and and a lot of people get very anxious and I try to talk them down from that and say, you know, stay out of your hives. There's, there's no need for you to be in there. This this is, if if you could run April year round and every month was April, there would be so many honeybees on this planet that you'd have to get rid of some of them. It'd be so, uh, they would be so thick. It's, it's like April, uh, halfway through April, through March and April and into May is like the best time that these bees can exist. Everything's going for them. I try to teach this on my videos and previous videos talking about, uh, <laughs> how beekeeping is like a, like a football season. You know, you start off with an easy game and everything seems so easy and going so good, then the, you get towards the end of the year and all of a sudden it's, it seems impossible to win. So kind of compare that analogy to uh, beekeeping and, and, it, and it makes sense. These bees got everything going for them right now, everything. All the nectar they want, all the pollen they want, no predators. There's no dragonflies. There's a few purple martins starting to arise, but not much. Uh, hive beetles are almost non-existent this time of year. Mites are counter very low. Everything disease, it, because you still have the, the cool nights and the, the warm days, uh, everything is just perfect. Like I said, if you could run, if you could be April every single month, uh, beekeeping would be so easy, but unfortunately it's not. So, let these bees work through this month. Don't go in and disturb them unless absolutely necessary. It's, it'll pay off in the long run after a month or even six weeks, and then you go in, then you're gonna be happy of what you see. But until then, you may not, because like I said, your bees population is gonna be down. And give your bees a chance. They know what they're doing. But just a little shout out from Barnyard Bees. Don't forget, folks. Please help share our videos. Don't forget barnyardbees.com for all your beekeeping supplies, packages, nukes, queens. Uh, check out our store in Chatsworth, Georgia. Uh, and that's about it. Don't forget, click on the little bell, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.